The D-Series crimping machines are easy to use and packed with features that deliver outstanding performance. In this video, we will cover the setup, operation, and preventative maintenance points to make your experience safe, profitable, and trouble-free. Before operating your new crimping machine, be sure to read the manual that was supplied with the unit. Always follow the safety instructions and operating procedures described in the manual. Remember, always wear safety glasses and keep hands and fingers away from all moving components. Place your machine on a sturdy workbench and use the anchor holes to safely secure the machine to the work table. This is very important to maintain a safe working environment. If your machine came with a separate hydraulic pump, you will need to connect it to the crimping machine using the hydraulic hose that came in the package. Do not use any hose assembly that is not rated for 10,000 PSI working pressure or a hose failure could occur resulting in serious injury. Be sure to open the vent plug on the pump to allow proper operation. The D105 and D165 crimping machines come with a 10,000 PSI pump that is already connected to the crimping head at the factory. Check to make sure that oil is visible in the sight window. Next, you will need to find an outlet with an adequate amount of power for your machine to operate correctly. A minimum of 15 amps at 110 volts is required. Do not use an extension cord unless it is 10 gauge or better and less than 10 feet long. Be sure to replace the shipping plug in the oil fill port with the vent plug that was included with your machine. Carefully read the manual and check to make sure all the components are in the package. If any are missing, please call your supplier to have the missing items sent to you. Next, we need to check the calibration of the crimping machine. Place the pressure plate in the base of the machine, followed by a die set, the compression ring, and the pusher. Be sure to apply a thin layer of grease to the top of the pressure plate and the inside surface of the compression ring. Check the micrometer to be sure that it is set to zero. Cycle the machine until the pusher and compression ring have completely closed the die set and have stopped moving downward. At this point, the micrometer on the manual crimpers should have a ring that is visible on the top of the thimble. The D105 and D165 crimpers should automatically shut off one second after the die set is completely closed. If your machine was out of calibration, then you will need to move the adjustment screw accordingly. Place a wrench on the stem and use an Allen wrench to move the adjusting screw either up or down until the desired result is achieved during the calibration check. Turn the screw in to increase the amount of time and turn it out to decrease the amount of time. Next, we will start the crimping instructions. First, be sure to have current crimping specifications from the hose and fitting manufacturer. It is imperative that these specifications are followed to ensure that the hose and fitting assembly meets the manufacturer's expectation. After selecting the die set from the crimp spec chart, place it on the pressure plate in the base of the machine. Be sure to apply a thin layer of grease on the top surface of the pressure plate beforehand. Next, we will place the compression ring and the pusher into the machine as well. Again, be sure to apply a thin layer of grease to the inside of the compression ring. Turn the micrometer to the recommended setting shown in the crimp spec chart. 
Now that all the components are installed and the micrometer has been set, we will begin the crimping process. Start the hydraulic pump and you will see the pusher begin to move downward. The D105 and D165 machines will shut off automatically and return to the retracted position. Here is a tip if you are planning to crimp multiple assemblies. The coupling stop and retraction stop can be set to automatically position the fitting and to stop the retraction of the pusher in order to save time. Always measure the final crimp diameter to guarantee that it is within the hose and fitting manufacturer's recommended crimp range. Very little maintenance is required if the components are regularly greased. Simply check the die surfaces and the surfaces on the pressure plate and the compression ring for signs of wear. If any wear is visible, then the component should be replaced. With the machine in the home position, check to make sure that the oil level is visible in the sight window. If the oil is not visible, then oil will need to be added through the fill port on the top of the pump housing. ISO 46 weight oil is recommended. If you have any questions or need assistance, please contact us and our customer service department will be happy to help. Thank you for choosing Custom Crimp.